Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'm super excited about today's project. It's called Wild Blue Yonder and you can't even say that name without wanting to sing the song. And so this is my quilt. It's airplanes going off we go into the wild blue yonder. Anyway, it's fun and easy to make. And guess what? I used the Dresden template to make this. So to make this quilt, you're going to need one packet of 10 inch squares and I have used American Dream by Danny Mogstead for Riley Blake. One package of background 10 inch squares. I use this white. You're also going to need another yard of uh, the same color for your sashing, all your little sashings here and your inner border. For your outer border out here, I used a yard and a half of this red and I also used the same red on the back. And you're going to need five and a quarter yards for that or you're going to need um, two or three quarter yards of a 108. Now the quilting pattern on this is called cotton candy and the reason I chose it is because it looks so much like little clouds. I just think it's adorable. Anyway, let me show you how to make this because this is really fun. <music> So this is the block we're talking about right here and it is the cutest little airplane and I'll show you how to make that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our print square and we're going to cut the pieces that we need for the airplane. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a two and a half inch strip and that's for the wing. So we're coming right here with that wing strip. We're going to set that aside up here. I'm going to cut another two and a half inch strip just like this and then I'm going to take that strip and I'm going to cut a five inch piece off because I need two two and a half inch squares for the nose. And so I'm going to come here and cut this one square here. And that should give you two and that makes the nose of your plane. This piece here is going to make your tail. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cut this two and a half inch piece down to a one and a half by five inch rectangle. Just like this. We're going to set this aside for our crumb piecing. And then we have this piece right here. So once you get your piece cut at six by five, then we're going to lay our dressing on there and we're going to lay it on the eight and the two line. So here's the eight line and here's the two line. And you will in your pattern, and it's a free download. This is our dressing template and it's already cut at the eight and the two. So you can see on here, if you lay this here, it's on eight and two. So if you just trace that out, you can lay that on your pattern and cut those with that. Um, but if you have the Dresden template, it's super handy. Man, I'd much rather use a template than a piece of paper. So I'm just going to center this up and I'm going to trim these pieces right here like this on each side. And you can flip that over if you're not comfortable cutting in both hands. And then this becomes the body of our plane. So now we're going to take our background piece and we're going to start again with cutting a two and a half inch strip right off the side right here. So here's our two and a half inch sit, strip. And then we're going to cut that into two five inch rectangles, just like this. So five by two and a half, two of them. And they're going to go right there. Next, we're going to cut a one and a half inch strip like this. And these are going to be the two side pieces on the other side of our airplane tail. And I'm going to cut that in half as well and lay those up here. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to lay it like this. It should be, they should be like five by six. And so I'm going to measure on here and this is six by five. Yep, that's exactly right. So cut it at five and then I'm going to stack these like this. And then what I'm going to do, because your background, your white background, you can use either side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my Dresden blade right here like this on my background and I'm going to lay it along this edge. And I'm here at the eight line and the two line, just like we did for the body of our airplane. And I'm going to cut this angle. And this angle is going to become what goes right up next against our body. So let me show you how this goes together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our two side pieces like this and our two five inch squares. We're going to build this plane from the nose down. So this is our piece right here that we're working on right now, this top row. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our two side pieces like this, our backgrounds, and we're going to put our nose in the middle. We're going to press a line on those and we're going to put them on here like this and like this. 
And we're gonna make sure that when they come together, we're gonna to sew them this way so they come opposite, okay? So we'll go to the sewing machine and sew those down. And then I'm gonna sew this guy down like this. And then what we'll do is we'll trim these off and press them back. So I'm gonna trim this side right here quarter of an inch from my sew line. Actually, before you trim, this is really important because I messed up a couple of times. Make sure they're right and it's actually gonna work as a nose piece. If they're going the same direction, they will not work. So before you trim, check that out and make sure it works. So I know mine works now, so I'm trimming that off. I'm gonna press them back like this and like that. And then we're ready to sew this nose piece together just like that. All right, so we're gonna line this up. And just sew this together. And then I'm gonna press this open. All right, so here's our nose. Next, we're gonna add our wing. And so that's just that whole strip is gonna go on there. And I just kind of, um, let a little bit come on either side. Now these two, the two bottom strips are nine and a half. Your top full strip is gonna be 10. And we're gonna square this whole block up, so don't worry about that. And so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. I mean, if you wanted to, I guess you could trim it down. But I just built my plane and then there's enough of the background that I can just go ahead and um, square that up as I go. All right, now I'm ready for the body. So now we take these two pieces that we cut the curve off of and you'll notice that they fit. You can turn them either way. And so mine, I'm gonna turn this way. And you wanna line that up and make sure they're going the right direction. And then we're gonna sew this side on. Your curve, you know, your angle is gonna be perfect because we've used the same angle for the background piece that we did for the, for the plain body. And so we're just gonna sew that down. And then I'm gonna finger press this back and then I'm gonna add the other piece on, still making sure that it goes the right direction. Just like this. And then we'll press that open. And let's make these go in. I think whenever you're dealing with a background fabric that is light, you want your seams to go in so they don't show. We're ready to add our wing to the body of the plane. So I'm just gonna center that up on there and sew that down. All righty, press it out. It's looking so cute. All right, now all we have left is our little tail. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew this piece to either end of our tail over here, and then we'll center that up on the bottom of the plane. We will have quite a bit of hangover on this, but we, we're not gonna worry about that. One more on this side. We're gonna press this out. And then I'm gonna fold this in half and put a little crease in there. And then this crease right here, I'm gonna line up on my, my body of my plane right here on the tail. And so these will, you can see, there's quite a bit hanging off over the edge there. And we'll trim that off as soon as we get this sewn on. But you can put a little pin in here to make sure it stays in the middle if you want. I'm just gonna eyeball mine and go ahead and sew that on there. All right, so we'll press this down. So now we're ready to square up this block and we are gonna square this to nine by 11. So I'm gonna look at this now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half. And so we're just gonna take a little bit off each side. 
So I've lined my plane up right here in the center on this line. So right from my center seam right here, it should be four and a half inches out. We're gonna trim that off. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna flip it, line it up again. So our nose is on that center line. We're gonna come out four and a half inches from that center line. And we're gonna trim this off. That should give us a block that's nine by 11. So let's check this, yep, 11 and nine. And just like that, we have this great block. Now you're gonna do that to all of your airplanes so they're all this same size. Now let me show you how I laid this out because I did something just a little bit different. So on these airplanes, you can see this is where this goes in here. Matter of fact, this is its twin right there. Well, I put a little piece of sashing underneath every plane and I put them together in long rows like this. So an inch and a half sashing underneath every plane and on this row, I left it all the way to the top. On this row, I put a four by nine inch piece. So I literally took one of my, my pieces of um, backing and I, I took a four inch piece like this, four by nine, so we'll cut an inch off. And you can probably cut this out of your sashing fabric. And we attached it right to the top of every other row. So it's here on this row, here on this row, and here on this row. Now on those other rows, on these rows right here, that piece goes on the bottom down here, and that's what makes them stagger. And rather than putting them in a row, I felt like this made it look like the planes were flying by alternating them. So a little inch and a half sash here, four inch sash at the top, four inch sash at the bottom on every other row. And it just goes together so quick. I put a little inch and a half sashing out here, Nice big six inch border out here. It makes a great size quilt. It is 72 by 84. And I have to say that when I showed this quilt to my boys, they were like, oh my gosh, that's really cool, mom. And I thought about all the uses for this quilt. There are so many people who love airplanes, who are in the service, who are Amelia Earhart fans, you know, just so many people who love planes. And I just thought this would be such a cool quilt for so many of them. Don't forget to use that dress and tool. It's another use for a template. That, and I love it when we come up with something new to do for a template. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Wild Blue Yonder Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.